He is known for being a prominent figure in the Polish Enlightenment, as well as a Catholic priest, philosopher, and writer. He is recognized for his support of reforms in Poland and his influential political writings during the Great Sejm. His name is Stanislaw Warzeniak Stasik. In the heart of 18th century Poland, a man of many talents emerged as a guiding light during the Polish Enlightenment. His name was Stanislaw Warzeniak Stasik. A Catholic priest, philosopher, geologist, writer, poet, translator, and statesman, Stasik's intellectual prowess knew no bounds. With a fervent belief in the power of knowledge and progressive thinking, Stasik dedicated his life to advocating for reforms in Poland. As a physiocrat, he championed economic freedom and laissez-faire policies, aiming to create a society that thrived on individual liberty. But Stasik's influence extended far beyond economics. He co-founded the Warsaw Society of Friends of Learning, a gathering of like-minded individuals who sought to promote intellectual growth and enlightenment. As the society's president, he nurtured a community of thinkers, fostering an environment where ideas could flourish. In addition to his intellectual pursuits, Stasik made groundbreaking contributions to various fields. He is hailed as the father of Polish geology, having spearheaded extensive studies and exploration of the Tatra Mountains. His work in statistics and sociology paved the way for a deeper understanding of society, while his efforts in mining and industry propelled Poland's industrial growth. Stanislaw Warzeniak Stasik left an indelible mark on Polish history and culture. Through his tireless advocacy and multifaceted contributions, he forever changed the intellectual landscape of his nation. As he once famously said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, his legacy continues to inspire new generations of thinkers and learners, ensuring that his ideas and ideals will be celebrated for centuries to come. Stanislav Stasik, a renowned philosopher and priest, was born into a prominent family in the town of Pila. Growing up as the youngest of four siblings, Stasik was fortunate to have a father who was the mayor of Pila and a royal secretary. His upbringing in a privileged household provided him with the opportunity to pursue a quality education and delve into the depths of philosophy. Stasik's thirst for knowledge led him to attend secondary school in Walks and later study theology at a Jesuit school in Poznan, where he graduated in 1778. Seeking further intellectual growth, he embarked on a journey to France and enrolled at the prestigious College de France. During his time there, he immersed himself in the study of physics and natural history, expanding his understanding of the world. Upon his return to Poland in 1781, Stasik found employment as a tutor in the household of Grand Crown Chancellor Andrzej Zamoyski. It was during this period that he received a doctorate from the esteemed Zamojski Academy. Stasik's passion for languages also shone through, as he worked at the academy as a French language teacher and translated various works from French into Polish. Stasik's early life experiences and educational pursuits laid the foundation for his later philosophical endeavors. His exposure to diverse disciplines and cultures broadened his perspective, enabling him to approach philosophical concepts with a well-rounded understanding. This breadth of knowledge would prove invaluable as he delved into the complexities of existence and sought to provide guidance for navigating the challenges of daily life. Stanislav Stasik, a little-known tutor, found himself transformed into one of the chief political thinkers of the late 18th century Commonwealth with the publication of his anonymous work, Remarks upon the Life of Jan Zamoyski. This groundbreaking piece not only portrayed the life of Zamoyski but also argued for the necessity of reforms, many of which Zamoyski had proposed or supported two centuries earlier. Stasik became a strong advocate for the interests of the lower classes, calling for the abolition of serfdom and improvements in the peasants' fate. In his remarks, Stasik did not shy away from criticizing the inefficiency of the Slakta, the noble class governing the Commonwealth. He believed they were too inept to govern alone and proposed a slight increase in taxes to fund the creation of a 100,000-strong army that could defend the country against its larger neighbors. While he preferred republicanism in theory, Stasik recognized that a strengthening of central power was the most practical solution for reforming the country, aligning with similar developments happening across Europe. He even went so far as to support the introduction of an absolute monarchy in Poland. Stasik's influence extended beyond his written works. As a keen observer of the proceedings of the Great Sejm, he spent much time in Warsaw during the deliberations. His widely read and discussed writings, including the remarks in his subsequent work, Warnings for Poland, made him one of the founding fathers of the Constitution of May 3, 1791. In Warnings, he criticized the magnates of Poland and Lithuania, monastic orders, and serfdom, while advocating for the enfranchisement of the townsfolk. Stasik's philosophy and advocacy for reform continue to hold relevance today. His ideas on social and political change, championing the interests of the marginalized, and the need for a strong central power resonate in our daily lives. 
His belief that reforms are necessary to improve the lives of the lower classes and his call for a fairer society inspire us to consider the ways in which we can address inequality and work towards a more just world. Stanislaw Stasik, a prominent figure in the aftermath of Poland's partitions, dedicated his life to various scientific and scholarly endeavors. His studies in geology and ethnography took him to the Carpathian Mountains in France, where he witnessed the transformative impact of Napoleon. Back in Poland, Stasik played a crucial role in educational reforms and initiatives as a member of the Ministry of Education. He went on to become the president of the Society of Friends of Learning, a precursor to the Polish Academy of Sciences, and a referendary to the State Council of the Duchy of Warsaw. Stasik's contributions to science extended beyond academia. He championed industrial development, recognizing the importance of coal and supporting the growth of metallurgy, ceramics, textiles, and transportation infrastructure. However, his ambitious projects faced criticism due to their slow returns on investment, leading him to resign from his position as the de facto Minister of Industry. While Stasik's scientific pursuits garnered admiration, his views on religion sparked controversy. In his essays on human nature, he emphasized the primacy of science and expressed criticism towards the influence of religion. Some saw him as a priest who had abandoned his faith, which earned him critics and damaged his reputation. Stasik's legacy lives on in his extensive body of work, including his nine-volume publication, Works, and his significant philosophical essay and poem, Humankind, a didactic poem. His contributions to the fields of evolutionism, education, and human behavior make him a precursor in both the natural and social sciences. As we reflect on Stasik's life and philosophy, we can draw inspiration from his dedication to scientific progress and his willingness to challenge traditional beliefs. His commitment to knowledge and his efforts to improve society serve as a reminder of the importance of continuous learning and the pursuit of truth in our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.